Welcome to the We Don't Play Station, where we don't play at all. You know that already. So, today is an amazing day because we have an amazing guest. And he goes by the name of Roski. And he's going to be talking a lot about his music, his career. And I'm so excited to have him on here. So, in the next few seconds, we're going to be talking to Roski. And I'm looking forward to it because this is something that we've been trying to do for a while. And we finally got a chance to do it. So this is the time to shine. And I know at the end of the day, you guys are going to really enjoy the topics that we'll be talking about right now. So he's about to join us. And you guys stay tuned. Here we go. What's goody? What's good? What's good? What's good? Finally. finally hey, finally. I was just telling them finally, we've been trying to get on this for a minute, but I was like, yeah, finally, yeah. it's time to go. <laughs> finally, man. Finally. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good, man. How have you been? I see you looking all fresh. Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> we just survived. We just survived. We just survived. Man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. How's the music going? Music right now is going good. Just working on some stuff right now. Trying to get like that 2021 single out there. It's that stuff and working on some project and stuff. What so projects are you working on? Because uh, last year I dropped an EP. So I'm trying to, I was talking to my management. So we're trying to drop like another EP, but this time it's going to be like more of like futures and stuff. Like, and the title is going to be the upcoming. So I'm just trying to like get like the best, not the best though, like <laughs> good people on the list. Like let's say six or f- seven songs like featured on the list, no singles, features on, feature on the list and drop that. <laughs> That's bro, I'm looking at December, November, right? Yeah, December, November, hopefully. But some singles, <laughs> banger. <laughs> Another banger. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you haven't heard Roski, you guys should check him out. He's on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Google Play. Just YouTube it and definitely SoundCloud too. You can just go on there, you know, play some music back and just listen to what he has because the music is is just, it's just going to get better, honestly. And I want people to also understand that this is not just music. This is a, this is a vision. This is is something that you see. And speaking of what you see, I want to know how the name Roski came into, into being in place right now. Like what, led this name from what you are to who you are and how you are right now all right um so my re- my original name is royal and uh, like how the name roski came in place <laughs> it's so funny but so back then i went to um, i was in school in nigeria high school but like nigeria we call it secondary school <laughs> but yeah i was in school in nigeria and um we had like cl- classes and stuff, like teacher comes in, lecture us, then goes out and you no know, music is life and everything. So like people, like the student, like my classmate, like we wanted like music after class, like after like each teacher comes in and leave, like one music, like and stuff. So back then, Lukesh, Olamide, David Obiskid, like we were all popping and stuff. So everyone was just listening to that music and so what I do is I just I had a friend, he raps and stuff. I also I used to manage him and stuff, but like <laughs> difference and everything, but like yeah. So I played the I because I play the drums, so I always play the drums on the decks like and stuff that he gives gives them flows and <laughs> gives them flows, sing some stuff. So I was playing the drums, then everyone calling me uh, Roski, Roski on the beats, Roski on the beats and stuff. So I was like, ah, this name. <laughs> I didn't like. I didn't really like it because it sounds like a dog name. Like, <laughs> I didn't really like it, but like, 
they actually gave me like two names, Royce and Roski. So I was like, when I started doing music, because I've been back outside, like just watching from in, like people just doing music in the studio. I wasn't really singing. I was just coming in. Okay, I'll play drums. So like just provide. So when I started doing music, I was like, all right, I need a name. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't trying to use Royal. Cause I mean, Royal is a good name, but like, I wasn't trying to use Royal. So I was like, I need a name. Man, thought about that. Cause that's a good journey. Like, come from there. Like, giving people like just vibes and stuff. Like, so I was like, okay, Roski, sticking Roski. <laughs> well, wow, yeah, man. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That yeah. you had two options and you went with that one, and. When you were thinking about it, were you thinking about how long this name is gonna last or how it's gonna sound on people's tongues? Hmm. Funny enough, funny enough. Roski, I was like, when the the producer, when I was working with a producer on my first song, uh, and I just said Roski, Roski, it's Roski on the beat, and it didn't really flow. Like it didn't like I didn't feel it like at first. Then I went back home, showed a couple of people this song. Like, oh look, check out the song. They're like, oh yo, <laughs> that, the the tag. I like the tag and stuff. But I'm like, oh okay, <laughs> let's just keep using this for now. But like, I think Roski is something I want to like just use. Like I just knew like I started branding it and stuff. Like so, I'm just trying to use Roski, which is something like. Having that experience from Nigeria coming over here, like the background, I think it's a good thing to like use and everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like that. And and everything that you said sounds like it started off with the music. It's not like somebody called you because you are playing soccer. You know, you are actually doing something in that light to create that impression, and people were just calling you that because that's what they felt. And it's like you picked it, you ran with it, and now it's a brand. Now it's a name. Now it's something that people actually say in the theater. They say it on the stadium. They say it in a concert. They sing when they're singing your music. So now I want to know after this, who is Roski? Like when Roski is not doing Roski things, what is Roski doing in other people's minds? <laughs> Roski, by apart from music and stuff, um, Roski is also like um, a student. I go to school and um, I also do a couple of stuff aside. I play drums for people. I play the drums like church. I grew up in church too, so <laughs> me playing the drums is like okay, it's part of music too. But like, I go to school. I also try to like model for people. Try to do all that stuff. Try to hustle. <laughs> we try to hustle. Yeah. Just money, money, money. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. And yeah. where are you at? Like, where is your fan base? If people are like are trying to figure out, okay, we've heard of Roski, but where is he? Because you said Nigeria. So where oh, where boy. do you say that your base is that you're really dominating your space right now? Mm-hmm. So I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, and um, I make Afro beat music. Afro music, Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. My fan base right now. My fan base in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm just trying to like get into those other like cities, like like Texas, like ATL, New York City, and stuff. Like hopefully one day. I can be popping right there, but right now my fan base is in Boston, Massachusetts. I live in Boston, Massachusetts. I record my music in Boston, Massachusetts. Also trying to like feature other artists from other cities like ATL. I was talking to someone in Texas, like I met him on Instagram and he's from Texas and he has a good fan base. So we're trying to like get that bond, the Boston bond and the Texas bond, like going and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, that's how we grow. That's how I'm gonna keep on going. Yeah, okay. And I'll say this right now before I get to the next question. You need to be on Clubhouse if you've not signed up. Oh, mm-hmm. Someone actually told me that. Someone told me that, like, yo, <laughs> come on Clubhouse. <laughs> come on Clubhouse. Have I'm you like, gotten yeah, an I invite? Have to, I have to come on Clubhouse, actually. Do you have an invite? 
Yes, my one of my friends sent me that, and he got it. But I haven't joined. <laughs> yeah, I'll join. I'll join. I'll definitely. I'll definitely go. Because I would definitely tell you this before it goes global or like really really fast, you have to tap mm-hmm. in as early as possible because what you're doing with your music, people can listen and they can resonate with you because that's a market. It's like listening to your Insta- like you post something on Instagram and imagine all your followers listening or watching at the same time. That's a bigger impact. And that's what is going now. Your voice, your music, your sound. So when you put that out there, I know for sure they're going to gravitate more to you as well because now they can talk to you one-on-one just like they talk mm-hmm. to celebrities one-on-one or you know people who are out there in the business. So you're definitely in the right space. And with that, I want to know what your goals are for, for this year. What is your objective as Roski? Yes. Um... Roski right now for this year dropping like last year I dropped a music video December ending and um, for this year some singles trying to drop the EP with the collabs the upcoming EP that's gonna be the title of the EP of the upcoming so that EP I'm just trying to like show people like show people back home too like we have international artists in, in the state that like can do <laughs> they're good it's just right here because back home people think oh yeah we have everything we have all we have all the resources like what we have and oh some people also think oh they're not good and like back people over here like you know they're not good we're just over here just vibing and <laughs> doing stuff so i'm just trying to like get some people like on the ep like i haven't sent the ep yet but i'm still gonna send the right I'm still going to send an invite to all the artists that I want to be on the EP, upcoming artists. And um, I'll be dropping some music videos. <laughs> Started shooting them last year. Um, some Trying to get some endorsement too. <laughs> Hopefully this year. <laughs> but I'm just trying to get money this year. This year, all about the money. <laughs> That's good. The mo- yeah, singles. I recorded a single. Yes, last week, yeah, recorded a single. Hopefully, it can drop next week. I mean, next next month. I'm sorry. <laughs> next month, hopefully, it can drop next month. But singles this year and EEP music video endorsement. Okay. That's what's up. Who do you want to work with? Like, who do you think is in that space where you can actually complement their art and they can complement your art? Like up there or oh, up there. To be honest, I'm so bad. I want to work with Whiskey. I want to work with Whiskey up there. I want to work with Joe Boy one day. Yeah, those are my like top people I want to work with. And for upcoming, like they're up there too. But I want to work with this kid. He's from ATO. Shout out to Toya official that's his instagram he's upcoming he's doing really good he's from atl i'm gonna work with him so hopefully we can get something going yep that's yeah basically burner boy too yeah burner boy definitely burner boy hopefully (laughs) hopefully that's a good one i like that roster because what i'm seeing and what i'm hearing it sounds like when i asked you those questions i was thinking what would your album look like what kind of features would you have What's the sound? What's the sonic wave? So I was, oh, that's how I was thinking in terms of... The no, no, no. I just mean in general, if you ever had an album and you want to work with artists and you have a catalog, those are the people that you would call first to, you know, be on your platform or be on your album. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's a good solid list. I like that. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Thank because you. <laughs> you have to think about the impact, the A artist, the B artist, the C artist, you know how you can put up your, yourself there. Because some people get on this platforms with this big artist and then they get swallowed Mm -hmm. and you don't want to be swallowed by an artist that is big you're supposed to you know pick that up and say hey i'm as good and then your next single your next ep your next album drops and they're like wow this is what i'm talking about because you end up having your own fan base when you can build your own art expression and that that really makes me understand that you have an art process there's something you do when you're working in the studio so what's your your process what do you do 
to achieve those sounds? What do I do to achieve those sounds in the studio? Um, so, first off, <laughs> Roski has to feel the beats. If I'm not feeling the beats, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen because you don't want to force some music. Like, that's something you don't want to do. Like, if you're trying, if you're not feeling the beat, if you're not feeling okay, you're not feeling, if you have a songwriter, if you're not feeling what he wrote, or you can't just hop on the mic and just sing, you might not feel, my, people like might, might not feel it and stuff. So, I must feel the beat and um, feel the beat. And I also, that's my producer. <laughs> Shout out to Jesse too. Um, I just met him like what, last month. He produced, he was one of the co-producers in um, my EP I dropped last um, last year. Follow me, the tough song right now. Follow me, he produced that. And I've been working with him. And we have some something going, we have something, <laughs> something mad, exclusive. <laughs> something mad going. And my process of making music is just the vibe. Like, if I'm off in the vibe, and the right people. I love having the right people in the studio, especially my manager. I love have, having my manager in the studio. Loving having my creative director, shout out to YKZ, my producer, Jesse. I just have, I just love having good people like that have the year of music. Like yeah, you can't just, <laughs> can't just have <laughs> some people like just come in the studio with you. And you have them sleeping. Oh, you cannot sleep. <laughs> Are you, what? Are you what? I'm gonna kick you out of the studio if you're sleeping. What? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, well, you cannot have someone sleeping in the studio or eating in the studio because everyone is working. Everyone's trying to get the right sound. You go in, everyone's trying to like, oh, is this sounding well and stuff? Because also when I record, the people I have in the studio. I mean, they listen to the song, they let me know, and I also send it to like a couple of people I trust, like, oh, yo, listen to this, what do you think? And I also, the, my best advice would be like, if you have this one friend that don't like you, that don't like you, I do music, send your song to, send your song to the friend, and trust me, if that friend says, ah, this is not bad, though, I mean, obviously, they won't say, okay, yes, this is good, like, this is not bad, my guy. Drop it, <laughs> drop it. But if he's saying, "Oh, this is this is trash," because obviously he's gonna tell you the truth. But like he doesn't want you to do music, but he's gonna tell you the truth. Oh, is this good or not? Also, you should know if this if your music is good or not and stuff. So no one can just tell you, "Oh, this is <laughs> this is not good." But you should know this is good, and you should know your fan base like what they like, what they don't like, and what you should like drop what they should expect too. Oh yeah, definitely. That's a good point to bring up because when you know what your audience is looking for, you know how they respond and that's how you actually impact them through the studio. And I don't know if you do this, but you know, dropping a track and then going to a party setting, whether it's a club or whether it's a, a private listening party and you're exclusively dropping this, let's say with, even with your management and you now let everyone listen to the song and see the vibe hear the vibe, feel yeah. the vibe. Once that actually has an ace, when people can actually mm -hmm. connect with it, and maybe there's some girls there that actually listen because that's really where the music is too. When you think about how it's impacting, does it make sense for them to listen to it enough? Can they replay it? Can they put it on their playlist? Those are questions yeah. that people don't seem to think about when they're in the studio, but I'm like, if you can make a music piece that can actually transcend and give somebody a reason to comment or a reason to you know remember that oh i listened to this song when i was feeling like this you know yeah. you're doing something right and you don't need a million followers to tell you that you only need one person that actually enjoys this piece and that's what i like about music that it's subjective it's not all about what everyone thinks it's about how i feel and how you feel in the track is how somebody else is going to take it and if you don't feel your own track, no one else is going to feel it. <laughs> so I like the fact that you actually well, say yeah. you got to feel the beat before you, you know, put it out there, before it actually becomes something that you want to add on. Yes. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. And I would also want to ask, I know you touched on it a little earlier, but the last question I want to ask you is what do you want people to actually, it's a two part question. What would you want people to leave behind after listening to this? 
just knowing you and listening to you and also what are the fun facts about you that people may not know uh the first question um after what i want people like what i want to leave so that people can know is um know me like what i do my craft my music afrobeat music and my vision like what i have what i'm what i'm planning on doing this year what i'm planning on doing for the future what i'm planning on doing for afrobeat music the industry and stuff and um fun fact <laughs> about me um i'm actually i actually play drums no one really knows like much i play drums and um what else uh, I play sports. I play football. I used to play football, and uh, I'm actually most people think, "Oh, this guy is <laughs> this guy is a fun guy. He's like outgoing." I'm actually shy. <laughs> I'm a shy you know, type of person, but I'm working on that and um, working on that too. Because if you're doing music, you, <laughs> you got <laughs> you come, you give them, you give, you have a mic. You have to perform for like thousands of people for like hundreds of people so you don't have to be shy and stuff and um what else uh, i'm a fun i'm a fun person though i love to hang out with my guys uh yeah we just cool vibe man. i don't like wild no wild i'm a peaceful kind of person we <laughs> <laughs> don't like don't bring problems to me man but yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> that's what's up. I like that. I really like that. And I was also saying one time that we, it would be dope if we have like a two-piece drum set and actually like complement and have like a battle of the bands, you know, one time. I don't know when that will happen, but it has always been something I've thought about and it will happen yes, soon. <laughs> we need to actually, um, I, I was thinking about it last year. Well, like the whole COVID stuff happened. Like I was trying to like come over to ATL, COVID, coronavirus. <laughs> trying to come over to ATL, you know, ATL, do some stuff. Also like do some music, music video shoot. Have like I'll say less than mini shows, but Corona, <laughs> Corona was just messing up. But we need to maybe this year we need to have that <laughs> section. <laughs> That's special selection. <laughs> exactly. That's for sure. I know it's gonna happen. It's just in due time. So it's good that we put it out there because when it happens, it'll be like you heard it first <laughs> on the We Don't PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for joining the playroom, and it's been an honor, a pleasure, you know, being on here because we're just growing, and this mm-hmm. year there's a lot to take in. So I definitely can't wait for people to check you out. And speaking of checking out, how can people get to you? What's the fastest way people can check out your music or your, you know, your profile? So um, my music is uh, everywhere. App Music, it's Roski, R O S K Y. Spotify, the same thing, R O S K Y. YouTube, R O S K Y. And my Instagram, my social media, um, Instagram is um, Roski. R S K Y then the beat B E A T then the triple Z Z Z Z. <laughs> then the same thing with Twitter and yeah, Twitter. I don't have a Facebook for now. Hopefully, I can get that. I've been trying. I've been saying that to get a Facebook, but I just have Twitter and Instagram. Right okay, now. okay, mm-hmm. definitely. You guys check out Roski on the beat. He has a lot of stuff to bring out to you. And this year, you better, you know, you better put your turn, <laughs> turn on your notifications. <laughs> because don't play, don't, play. <laughs> don't play at all, guys. But thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And it was dope. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Hopefully, the next day this month, <laughs> remember, I dropped the EP. You can have another radio have another podcast again then by then we've probably like dropped so many songs out there and uh, I dropped an EP too um, it's out of um, Apple Music everywhere I also dropped a music video on YouTube you, you guys can go check it out it's dope it's my first music music video so you guys can get check it out share support <laughs> don't blast it there tell Roski tell them that Roski is already Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I love that exactly. That's what's up, man. But definitely have a good one. Make sure Boston turns up for Roski. You know, one time, one time. <laughs> you 
too, man. All right, see you, bro. All right, bro. See you. Take care. All right, you too, man. Yeah. You guys heard it first from the We Don't Play station. It was your boy, Broski on the beat. And he had amazing things to talk about. So, you guys, I don't want to even bring any much more detail to this conversation. All I want to say is thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being here. You can rate this podcast at ratethispodcast.com forward slash we don't play. And that's all I got to say. And, you know, that's all, folks. <laughs> Just like the same Bugs Bunny, you know. So everything is working perfectly. And I really thank God for what we have here. So you guys take care. Have an amazing day. And happy Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. <laughs>